started to write uh, the acrobat, we didn't know if it would end up on the record or not, because uh, we instantly realized that uh, it was going to be a very different song compared to everything we did before. The track has a very punk rock vibe to it, but it's a trash metal song at its core. Initially, we tried to imagine how our fans would react to it, but we were having so much fun during the writing process of this one, and we loved how it turned out. So eventually we kept it, because we realized uh, that it shows a part of our sound. It's not really a riff-based song, which is pretty unusual for us. The arrangements have been written around the vocals, because we came up with some really cool vocal lines and we wanted them to lead every other element. It's one of the most difficult songs I've ever sung, but uh, I'm very proud of that chorus, because I was looking for something that people could easily remember and sing, and I hope that uh, it will work and you'll have it stuck in your head for the rest of your life. When Loris suggested me to put four different solos on a four-minute song, I wasn't really sure about it at first, but I accepted the challenge and I'm glad I did, because it turned out to be perfect for this kind of song. I opted for a more classic metal and rock and roll sound. We really had a good time during the recordings of these lead parts, and I will always remember our producer Simone Muloroni punching the desk for the excitement. The bass never plays uh, the same parts as the guitars on this one. Actually, it does a lot more, adding uh, a strong and uh, effective layer to the song. This was uh, the first time I introduced the slap technique into an ultraviolet song. I wasn't very familiar with slap at that time, but uh, I knew it would be great. So I worked on it and uh, we liked it so much that we decided to use this technique on the other songs as well. 